Elon Musk just hinted something strange is happening to 3i Atlas. Are you Why paying attention at yeah. all to 3i Atlas? Are you oh, watching this is the, that? Com the comet? Yeah, whatever um, it is. It'll be a very sort of heavy spaceship if you make it all out of nickel. Oh, yeah. Um, and so, fucking huge. The size of Manhattan and all nickel. That's kind of nuts. Yeah, that's a heavy spaceship. That's a real problem if it hits. Uh, yes. No, it would like obliterate a continent type of thing. Yeah. Um, maybe, maybe it was. Yeah, it'll probably kill most of human life. It could be aliens, I don't know. But I, I, Apparently I mean, today yeah. they're saying that it's changed course. It's fascinating. It's fascinating also because it's made almost entirely of nickel, whatever it is. And yeah. the only way that exists uh, here is uh, industrial alloys, apparently. Um, um, there must, there, no, there are, there are, there are definitely uh, comets that and asteroids that are made primarily of nickel. Uh, oh, fact, really? Yeah. So the the, the places where um, you mine nickel on Earth is actually where there was an asteroid or comet that hit Earth that was a nickel rich, uh, you know, uh, me wow, and nickel it left rich a giant nickel rich rich deposit. Yeah, that's the, that's that's it's coming. Ooh. Those are from impacts. You definitely didn't want to be there at the time because anything <laughs> would have been obliterated. While the media chases fear and conspiracy, the truth about this interstellar object is far stranger, far older, and more important than anyone expected. From unexplained jets to sudden trajectory shifts, this is the real story the headlines missed. The moment 3i Atlas became impossible to ignore. Joe Rogan casually brought it up. Are you paying attention to 3i Atlas? And suddenly the entire tone of the conversation sharpened. Rogan then mentioned Avi Loeb's latest update, posted just hours earlier, that 3i Atlas might be showing non-gravitational acceleration. So this is Avi Loeb. A few hours ago, the first hint of non-gravitational acceleration, that something other than gravity is affecting its acceleration, meaning something is affecting its trajectory beyond gravity was indicated. So it's mostly nickel, very little iron, which uh, he was saying uh, is on Earth, it only exists in alloys. It'll be a very sort of heavy spaceship to be make it all out of nickel. Oh, yeah. Um, and so, fucking huge. The size of Manhattan and all nickel. That's kind of nuts. Yeah, that's a heavy spaceship. That's a real problem if it hits. Uh, yes. Loeb's note pointed to a key anomaly. The object seemed to be drifting in a way gravity alone couldn't explain. Small, subtle, but measurable. When Rogan added that the object appears to be made mostly of nickel with unusually low iron, Musk clarified that while nickel-rich asteroids do exist, the scale and consistency of this one make it extremely rare. Let's hear from Elon himself. No, it would like obliterate a continent type of thing. Yeah. Um, maybe maybe it was. Yeah, it'd probably kill most of human life. Um, if not all of us. I haven't looked at, it depends on what the, the total mass is, but... Um, there's, I mean, the thing is, like in the fossil record, there are, um, you know, there's like arguably, arguably five major extinction events, um, like the biggest one of which is the Permian extinction, uh, where um, almost all life was eliminated. That that actually occurred over several million, several million years. Um, the, there's the Jurassic. I think Jurassic is, I think that one's pretty definitively an asteroid. Um, and, um, but, this, but there's been five major ext extinction events, but... Um, but what they don't count are really the ones that merely take out a continent. So the <laughs> <laughs> merely, yeah, because that because those don't really show up on the fossil record, you know. Right. Um, so in, unless it's enough to cause a, a you know mass extinction event throughout Earth, it it doesn't show up on you know in a fossil record that's uh, two hundred million years old. There, there have been many m many impacts that would have sort of destroyed all life on you know, a, let's say half of North America or something like that. There are many such impacts th oh, through the course of history. Yeah, and there's nothing we can do about it right now. Yeah, there was one that um, hits, there was a, one that hit Siberia and destroyed, I think, um, a few hundred square miles. <laughs> oh, that's the Tunguska. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. that's the one from the 1920s, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's the one that coincides with that meteor, that uh, comet storm that we go through every June and every November that they think is responsible for that Younger Dryas impact. Yeah. yeah. All that shit's crazy. A Manhattan-sized object made of dense metal is not a harmless sky visitor. Musk explained what a collision like that would mean, not global extinction necessarily, but continent-level devastation, the kind of event that destroys everything within thousands of kilometers, yet barely registers in the fossil record millions of years later. 
He reminded Rogan that Earth has seen countless continent-killing impacts throughout its history. Five mass extinctions are officially recognized, but many more catastrophic events simply vanished from geological memory because they weren't worldwide. And now, early signs of non-gravitational acceleration are real, they're faint, they're subtle, and they could still have natural explanations, but the shift is consistent enough that astronomers are taking it seriously. Something about 3i Atlas is different, and the world is paying attention now. The newest images of 3i Atlas have completely shifted the conversation. Look at this. And tonight's Future of Everything, it's been a few days since we've talked about our favorite interstellar object, 3i Atlas, and yes, we've got some updates. Check out these new images that show 3i Atlas in a whole new light. Uh, what's going on with this? this situation? Where are these jets? Uh, is it streaming out? What is all this? Is it breaking up after possibly going behind our sun? A little confusing because this all comes after last week. Images showed uh, the object with no tail. Weird. So how did the object go from an anti-tail to a tail to a no-tail uh, to an anti-tail to, to whatever it is? What looked calm and almost featureless last week is now erupting with more than seven bright, tightly focused jets shooting into space some of them stretching nearly a million kilometers into the solar wind. And the transformation is confusing even seasoned astronomers. Just days ago, 3i Atlas had a normal tail, then an anti-tail, then no tail at all. Now it looks like it's firing multiple beams of material in different directions, almost as if someone flipped a switch between each observation window. Harvard astronomer Avi Loeb tried to make sense of it. Here is what he said. There are two possibilities that we considered all along, that these jets are naturally produced out of ice on the surface of a rock. And uh, the second possibility is that they might be thrusters on the technological spacecraft. And so how do we tell the difference? Well, if it's a natural object, then we know the temperature on the surface of a rock, uh, given its distance from the sun, and that gives the characteristic speed of any volatiles that get sublimated and ejected from those pockets of ice. And so knowing the speed, we can see how far these jets go into the solar wind. We know the properties of the solar wind, and these jets appear to be, some of them, in the direction of the sun, and they go a million kilometers away from the object. So knowing the properties the speed and the density of the solar wind, we can infer how much mass is being carried by these jets. And I did the calculation and I found the, of the order of uh, 5 billion tons of material. Loeb broke the situation down to two possibilities. Either 3i Atlas is naturally breaking apart or the jets we're seeing are the result of controlled thrust. He avoided speculation and focused strictly on physics. If the jets are natural, they would come from pockets of ice heating up and releasing gas. But his calculations, showing nearly 5 billion tons of material being ejected, don't match the estimated size of the nucleus. A natural object would need a surface almost 20 kilometers wide, far larger than what telescopes have observed. That means it may have fractured into many pieces, exposing new surfaces that could produce slow, heavy jets. If so, fragments should start drifting away soon. The second possibility is harder to ignore. If the jets are extremely fast, much faster than typical comet outgassing, they could be technological, like propulsion systems used on spacecraft. That would explain why the object looks intact despite the intense activity. This is where Elon Musk's tone becomes relevant. He dismissed alien claims directly, but didn't mock the idea of unusual behavior. And 3i Atlas is certainly unusual. December 19th should bring clearer answers, but Loeb warns surprises may come earlier. For now, the mystery only deepens. Waiting for NASA's 3i Atlas images. Four days have passed since NASA was expected to release its highest resolution images of 3i Atlas, and still nothing. No update, no clarification, no official explanation. With the government shutdown now resolved, 
people assumed the images would appear immediately. Instead, we're left with silence. Avi Loeb, speaking live again, said he'd been told by two independent sources that NASA plans to release the images in the middle of next week after additional processing. Here is his take on it. Well, actually, we don't just see a tail. In the latest images, we see uh, of all the seven jets coming from the uh, surface of, of the central object, uh, some of them towards the sun, some of them away from the sun. What surprises me is that they are tightly collimated. Uh, and that is surprising because the object is rotating. The last time we checked, it has a rotation period of only 16 hours. The length of these jets is a million kilometers. You would expect that uh, the material making up these jets uh, had to go across that distance over a period of a month, uh, given the typical speed of outflows from comets. And uh, during a month, it would have been smeared by the rotation mm -hmm. of the object. So then the question is, what is going on? Uh, one possibility is that it's only the uh, pockets of ice facing the sun that are getting warmed up, but we see uh, jets going on the opposite direction, away from the sun. Another possibility is that perhaps the object broke up and what we see is the trail of material uh, from the fragments flying out. But the problem is that uh, we got the latest image and it looks like a single object in the middle. So we don't know what is going on. Of course, it's possible also that, uh, that these are thrusters from a technological object that are used to maneuver uh, or navigate and obviously in that case, uh, they will maintain their orientation. He's choosing to believe it's simply a technical delay, not anything more dramatic. But the timing has only fueled curiosity, especially as the object keeps changing faster than scientists can explain. The latest images, leaked through observatories worldwide, show something almost contradictory. Instead of fading or fragmenting, 3i Atlas now appears with a restored halo and seven sharply focused jets, some pointing toward the sun, others away from it. What makes this bizarre is that the jets remain tightly coordinated despite the object rotating roughly every 14 to 16 hours. Under normal physics, material should smear into wide arcs as it spins. Instead, the jets look stable, almost controlled, as if the outflow keeps resetting to the same orientation. That behavior is hard to reconcile with a natural comet. Even Michio Kaku, who leans strongly toward natural explanations, admitted the chance of an artificial origin is not zero. Loeb challenged anyone claiming it's ordinary to write a paper explaining all anomalies, something no one has done yet. And this loops back to Elon Musk's tone. He dismissed alien claims directly, but he also stressed transparency. If something extraordinary ever emerged, he'd say it openly. His seriousness makes more sense now. The truth is simple. 3i Atlas is not behaving like anything we've seen, and until NASA releases those long-awaited images, every answer is provisional. The next few weeks will determine whether this is just a dramatic comet or the first interstellar object that forces us to rethink what's possible. If you enjoyed this supercut, we've selected two more videos we think you'll find fascinating. Check out our recommended picks on the left and right of your screen now.